Welcome back to our IB Biology video series. This is the second video in IB Biology Topic 6, Human Physiology, where we will be looking at the blood system, including vessels, the heart, and the cardiac cycle. As you will already know, blood circulates through our body through a system of tubes, known as blood vessels. Their discovery was thanks to William Harvey, who pioneered the concept that blood flow is unidirectional, travelling through veins and arteries with valves to prevent backflow. However, the discovery of intermediate vessels, i.e. capillaries, were not discovered until after his death. There are three main types of blood vessels you need to know for your exam. Arteries, veins and capillaries. You are expected to draw a cross-section and list the features of each. Let's take a look. Arteries carry blood at high pressure due to their narrow lumen. They have thick endothelium and thick muscular walls containing a thick elastic fibre layer to prevent bursting. They have no valves as there is no risk of backflow due to the high pressure and generally they carry oxygenated blood away from the heart towards tissues. You can remember this with A away. Veins carry blood at low pressure due to their wide lumen. They have thinner endothelium and thinner walls with a thin elastic fibre layer. They have valves to prevent backflow due to the low pressure and generally they carry deoxygenated blood towards the heart away from tissues. Capillaries carry blood at very low pressure. They have single celled endothelium and no muscular wall or elastic fibres. They have fenestrations, i.e. gaps between cells, to allow rapid diffusion and particle exchange between blood and tissues. They have a very small diameter, so they can fit into small gaps in tissues to reach all cells. So, blood is contained within arteries, veins and capillaries. But how does it move along these vessels? This is the role of the heart. The heart was first discovered by Galen, who theorised that it delivered a vital spirit to tissues through fluids called humours. He stated that oxygenated and deoxygenated blood mixed and flowed in the same vessels. Later, William Harvey, in conjunction with his work on blood vessels, replaced this theory by proving that the heart is a pump with two sides that supply different areas of the body. He is responsible for our current understanding of the double circulatory system. This is that the systemic circulation supplies oxygenated blood to the body and brings back deoxygenated blood to the heart. The pulmonary circulation carries deoxygenated blood through the lungs to be oxygenated and sent back to the heart to be pumped through the body. For your IB biology exam, the IB expects you to label the structures present in the heart and describe the sequence by which blood flows through them. Let's cover the structure. The heart consists of four chambers, each connected to a single blood vessel. The top chambers are named atria, whilst the bottom are named ventricles. When naming anatomical structures, it is important to note left and right are used from the patient's perspective, i.e. they're flipped. So the right atria and ventricle are on the left of your diagram, and the left atria and ventricle are on the right. The septum is the tissue dividing the left and right side of the heart. The connected blood vessels are known as the aorta, pulmonary artery, vena cava, and pulmonary vein. There are four valves that control blood flow through these vessels. You need to name them. The semilunar valves control blood flow from the ventricles to their arteries. The atrioventricular valves control blood flow from the atria to their ventricles. On the left side, it is named the bicuspid valve, and on the right side, it is named the tricuspid valve. You can remember this because tricuspid has an R in it. So how does blood flow through these chambers, valves and vessels? You've now reached the end of the preview for this IB Science video. If you want to check out the full video, head over to our website and select a membership plan today.